Carrie from PassionatePennyPincher.com and I am so excited because it's my day to open my Stitch Fix box. I got home from a conference yesterday and my box was here and I couldn't wait to open it. So I will tell you that the only time I think you should think about a Stitch Fix box is if you meet these three criteria and you can click the link in the video if you meet these criteria and you think you want to try it out. Number one, if you need a great pair of jeans, guys, these are my Stitch Fix jeans right now. These are actually also my shoes. They give me the best jeans ever. Like I love their jeans. I also feel like Stitch Fix is worth it. If you're a busy working mom and you don't have time to get to the store, I feel like Stitch Fix can be a great way to get you the clothes you need. Um, they style me like I am not a fashion girl and I would probably not have picked out these jeans. So I really do love them. Um, so if you're a busy mom who's working and you need to look pulled together every once in a while, Stitch Fix could be life changing. I went to a conference and I felt kind of pulled together and that was amazing. And number three is if you have $20 and some self-control, they do charge a $20 selling fee. If you keep any item in the box, you get that money right back. So it's worth it if you really, um, if you can have some self-control, usually will also give you, um, so you get that money back if you put it towards something, but the prices are a little bit expensive because you are paying for them to style you. And like I said, for me, it's worth it. I really enjoy it. Um, most things I keep, I really do like them. They've kind of figured me out, but I'll see what you guys think. Hello, let's see. Hey, MC. Hi, Roberta. Hi, Pam. Tell me where you guys are from this morning. And tell me, have you ever tried Stitch Fix before? I will tell you, I've had some amazing boxes. I've had some not so amazing boxes. Um, I am hoping today is an amazing box. I'm kind of nervous about it. We'll see what it looks like. I do, these actually, my shoes, let me show you before I get in there. The shoes and the jeans that I'm wearing right now. Thank you, my sweater is from Jane, and I wasn't so sure about it, but it's kind of growing on me. My shoes and my jeans are from Stitch Fix, so that gives you a good idea. And like I said, they came out of the box. I didn't have to do anything. They fit immediately. I think they're pretty fantastic. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Let's check it out. Are we ready? This is how their stuff comes. What I love is that they send you a style guide, which will tell you how to wear things. They, or I guess that's this. They'll tell you about the pricing, and then they send you a return address. So you, a return bag. So literally, this is already stamped for me. I can go send it back if I don't like it. Guys, also, if you are interested, let me know if you if you have a friend who might want to try Stitch Fix who's been on the fence. You can see what they think. Huh. I'm excited because it looks like it's some warmer winter stuff, which is great. Okay, so are we ready? Oh goodness, is it working guys? Sorry, I think we had a little glitch there, but I think we're back. Okay, so the first one is the sweater. You like this sweater too, Rebecca? Okay, what do you guys think about this one? I kinda like it. What do you guys think? Hearts on this one, likes. I like that it's longer in the back. I actually really, I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I kinda like it. What do you guys think? Hearts likes, if you want to see me try it on, give me a heart or like if you want me to try this one on. No, Kathy says no. Hearts if you like it. Likes if you're not so sure. Shall I try it on and see? I mean, it's kind of plain, but I'm kind of a plain girl. Hang on, I'm going to just scoot over here into my tank top where I can try this on and see what we think. Let's see. Okay, you guys think you're going to like it. Oh. Oh, you guys, I did not think this was all that exciting, but I think I'm kind of loving it. What do you guys think? Hit the share this button if you know someone who might be interested in trying out Stitch Fix. Oh, y'all, I think this was a winner. I think they gave me a winner. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree? Not sure, maybe better on. You like it? Do you guys like it? I like this one. I think it's pretty cute. What do y'all think? Like, like? I think I'm keeping this one. I think it's a keeper. Okay. Yay, 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 yay. So I got one good thing in the box. And now I didn't like it either when it wasn't on. Man, I really like, oh, yay, Stitch Fix. Thank you for giving me a Rockstar one. You like it? It's super cute. I, I'm happy with this one. Okay, the next one. I'm so glad they gave me some sweaters because, oh, I'm freezing. I'm actually probably gonna end up wearing this today because I was kind of freezing. Okay, look at this one. Now I will tell you, I don't wear a lot of lighter colors um, because, and I don't have anything like this and I think I could wear this with leggings possibly. We'll see how big it is. Okay, what do you guys think? Hearts if you love this one, likes if you're not too sure. Think of how cute this would be styled with a scarf and leggings. 
or a scarf and really skinny jeans. What do y'all think? I actually, oh my gosh, I have the cutest pair of little shoes. You guys like this one? Looks great. How does it feel? It feels amazing. It feels amazing. I mean, it feels really good. Okay, I'm going to scoot over and try this one. I'm actually really excited. That one, I did not expect to like the navy as much as I did. And I do not have a lot of sweaters going into winter. I wish I didn't. I've got this big chunky belt on. So this is going to probably look chunkier than it's supposed to look. What do you guys think? Okay, it's a little see-through. I'm not so sure what I think about that. Um, oh, but with a scarf and some leggings. Oh, y'all. Thank you, Stitch Fix. I love this one. Oh, my gosh. I love this one. I totally love this one. This is something, this is a color I wouldn't normally pick either because I tend to pick darker things, but I'm kind of really loving it. I'm loving it. Yay. I love this one. Love it, love it. Absolutely love it. I love how it covers my high knee. Look at that. It goes right. Look how low it goes, guys. I love that. Okay. Well, Stitch Fix, so far you are two for two. I am loving it. You guys love it too? Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay. You love it? Love this one so much better? Okay. Next thing. Huh. I actually think I know what to do with this one. What do you guys think? This is like a little wrappy thing. I like to wear over stuff. Um, but it's kind of like feeling a little athletic-y. What do you guys think on this one? I'm going to try it. Do you want me to try it? Give me a hard like. Give me a try. I love the link. Is the blue one missing the first white row on your neck? I don't know. I'll have to look at it. You like it better. Leggings brown with a tank. Okay. Let me try this one and see what we think. I'm going to try this one real fast. I like that I have stuff that's easy to change into this time. Winter is easy to change to and from. Um, let's look at this one. Now, this one I probably, well, I guess not. Okay. Here we go, guys. Make sure I get myself all together. Okay, this one, gosh. I can't, This one is not my favorite. I'm going to be 100%. This is just not a style that I love. Um, typically, I'm not into this long thing. I see people wearing them, though. What do you guys think? Do you love it? No? Vita says no. You love the sweaters. Tan is okay. It's a little too roomy. You really like it. What do you guys think about this one? Um, you love this? Looks too thin. You really like that one? I'm just not... This one is probably my one... It's super soft. It feels amazing. I don't know that I'm into this whole, like... I don't know. What do you guys, what do you think? It looks cute. Looks great. You actually like it. Sweaters. You guys like it? it does it feel like too businessy? Like I'm kind of more a flannel kind of girl. So this feels a little businessy for me. What do you, you don't like the hem? I think it's the hem. You're right. It's a weird hem. You guys all like it. Okay. Well, I have to tell you, I wish you could feel it. It feels like so soft, super amazing. Nice to throw in where on the house. I really do. I, I really like it. Yeah, I, I like the way it feels. Um, hang on. Yeah, I'm going to think about this one. This one, the other two I pretty much 100%. Like, no question. Absolutely amazing. This, I actually kind of do think I'd wear, but it feels a little, um, I don't know, it's more businessy style than I am. And I don't really go anywhere other than the house, so I kind of always struggle with, like, where am I going to wear stuff that's not? You'd wear it to drop kids off at school, heading back to work for after six years. Jennifer, you are heading back to work after six years? Yes. Try Stitch Fix once because they will fix you right up. Like, they will fix you right up. Okay, let's look at this one. Huh. I wonder if this is to go underneath this, maybe? What do you guys think about this one? A sleeveless thing? I always wonder when they send me sleeveless stuff, but I think it's to go as something underneath the other stuff. So I'm going to try it really fast. Um, it's a cute top. Hang on just a second. I'll try it real quick. Um, like I said, I have a tank on underneath, so that's making everything easy to change in and out of this morning. That one's, the, so far, the first two I absolutely love. The third is okay. It's not bad. Let's see how this one goes. Okay. Oh, that's cute. It fits cute. Seems a little bit big. Seems a little big. What do you guys think? Um, it fits really well. Let's put it on with the other thing. 
You can wrap it. Church looks casual. Yes, just keep it. Nope. Laura says nope on this one. Goes underneath it. I'm going to try it underneath it and we'll see what they say on how I'm supposed to style this craziness. Thank you guys for sharing with people. Not sure. Yeah, these, the first two were so good. The first two were so good. This just is too, I am, the first two are so good. I will keep those for sure. You guys love it? Adorable? You love it? Really? Like, I feel a little bit older than I want to feel. Like, I'm not quite, uh, the third is the cutest one. Third is the cutest one. Tuck in your pants in the front. Oh, oh, oh. That's a good idea. That's why I need a stylus. Okay, hang on. You're right. This is going to change it. Now I'm going to like it. So I'm not, um, I'm still figuring out the stuff for sure. You're right. It just needs to be tucked. And then I need a sweater with it. Okay, that totally changes it. Thank you. Yes, yes. The blue sweater was missing part of the top row stripe. I'm going to go look at that today. Hey, Denise, I am trying on stitched fix outfits today. Now if I did that, I don't know that this is the right cardigan for it, but you're right. If I had this with the right cardigan, actually even, I'm going to show you two different options here. So like if I had a brown cardigan, that would pull that together. Okay, that's pretty cute. Thank you to whoever, I don't know who your name was that told me to tuck, tuck it in, but... Um, yeah, that's really, really, well, and the nice thing I will say about this look is um, I am really, like, I am a lot, my legs are long, and so when I wear things tucked in completely, like, if I just wore this tucked in, you can't tell this in real, I can't, it's hard to see that there, um, it doesn't look awesome, but if I have something tucked in, like, I can pull off something tucked in if I've got, like, a shrug or sweater over top of it, so this is the sweater I got from Jane. Um, this isn't one I would wear either, but you can see how that totally classes up this thing. Yeah, I can't, okay, so, so I might be sold. You guys might have sold me. You guys like it? Cute, cute. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Jane. You love it so much. I do really like it now that it's tucked in. So whoever told me to tuck it in, and in the fall, if you wore this with boots and a long, I did not think I would like this, y'all. What do you think? Y'all are super sweet. Oh, Trust me, I work hard to look, you're so sweet. For those of you guys who know that I have struggled my whole life, in fact, I was just complaining this morning at the gym about how hard I'm trying to really thin, I wish I could just make my thighs a little thinner. So for you guys who are encouraging, I have struggled my whole life with my weight and I work really hard to be this size. Um, it's, it's not easy. So I will just say, if you struggle with your weight, you are not alone. Oh, let's look at the next thing. So thank you for your kind words, I really appreciate those. It's too low cut. The tank is too low cut. So I could put a crop underneath it. This is this tank. I could put something underneath it for sure. I think I would have to have, you're right, I would have to have something underneath it. I couldn't wear it without um, a fanny. Okay, last thing. Oh, you, oh my goodness, Hannah, you just lost 10 pounds. Hannah, if I could come and give you a hug right now. Hannah, you are a rock star and I know how hard it is to lose those 10 pounds and you have to fight for them. So you go and have an amazing day. I am so stinking proud of you. Okay, so let's see the last thing, which I don't know if I'll try on or not. We'll see. Huh, oh, <gasps> okay guys, I'm a little excited about these. These are J. Crew. These are J, I love J. Crew. What do you guys think? A lacy underneath would look really pretty. She said 101. Hannah Day, you guys. Oh, Hannah, I wish I could help. Hannah Day, you lost 101 pounds. Oh my gosh, Jamie, you lost 298 pounds. Okay, okay. For Christmas or your birthday, order a Stitch Fix box for real. Like, do it. Like, do it. Do it. Oh, Hannah, and the other person said they lost 298, and somebody else 12. You guys are so amazing. Oh my goodness. So for those of you who know, who've hung out with me for a long time, if you're new here, you don't know this about me, but if you've hung out for a long time, you know that I lost, I've lost about 75 when I was in college, and then I struggled kind of with the last 20 or 30 pounds, I've struggled with those, like having babies and everything else, and I am at my lowest. In fact, this morning, I happened to hop on the scale, and I was at like one pound higher than my lowest ever. So I'm kind of like dreaming. I have this number in my head that's like three pounds lower, and my birthday is coming up in November, and I thought it would be really fun to get there. So for those of you who know, um, I for those of you who've struggled with weight, guys, my, I am so proud of you, and I am so proud of you guys who have done it. If you feel like you're struggling with your weight loss journey, I encourage you just to hop up, 
do some walking, get some exercise and eat the right food, keep it simple. Um, it can be so, it can be done. Good morning, Bridget. I'm so glad to see you, Bridget. I'm praying for you and I hope that you're, after your surgery, you are feeling well. Okay, so I'm gonna go try these pants on. I had to run to the bathroom. So y'all talk amongst yourselves about how awesome you are because you are awesome. Hang on just a second. It's really hard to see these pants. I think it's gonna be really hard to see these. Um, I do love J. Crew. I don't know. Let me see. What do you guys think about those? I can't see them, so it's really hard for me to tell. Let me see if I can see them in the camera. They're not bad. They're actually really not bad. Um, I don't have any gray pants. Huh? They didn't give me another sweater to try them on with. What do you guys think about the pants? Hearts or likes? I will say for the pants at Stitch Fix, they almost always fit. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know how they're supposed to fit. Like, I'm not sure about these. So these I'm gonna have to look at a little bit closer. Like, it's hard for me to even see in the camera. What do you guys think? Um, what do y'all think? You love them? Try them with the sweater. Should I try them with which sweater? Like, which sweater would I even wear them with is the thing. I guess I can put them on with that first sweater. Let's try that. Hang on. Actually, I could kind of see them with this. They're, I'm gonna have to read how to wear these because this is not a type of pants I would ever pick on my own. So that's where I'm gonna need Stitch Fix's help. I mean, I guess you could just throw them on with that. I don't, I don't know that I'm wearing these right. Try the cream sweater, try the cream sweater with those. Okay, for those of you who didn't catch everything, that was one of the sweaters. I swear I have to have you guys style me as I go because I really don't know what I'm doing, which is why I love Stitch Fix because I don't know what I'm doing. So they help me out and you guys are awesome to help me out too. Okay, oh, I could see it with those. Okay, that is kind of cute maybe. I don't know. I don't, I'm gonna have to, let's look, let's look at the prices and see what they tell you. So the one thing they do that I love January, I, or Hannah, you lost it starting in January. I am so stinking excited for you. I absolutely love it. Try it with the gray softy one. No, the cream sweater. You love this. I do like this sweater. This one I'm sold on. Like, I'm 100% sold on this sweater. You like it, Becky? Thank you, Becky. Becky is another friend of mine who has lost. Becky, how much have you lost now? You've lost, like, a ton. Becky has lost a ton of weight in the last year, and I know she's rocking it. Um, you just lost 42 pounds, Sarah. I love that. I love that. Okay, so let me show you. We're going to go really fast to see. I want to see what they tell me I'm supposed to wear with those pants. So I'm going to show this to you. So they tell you what to wear with everything. Oh, okay. So they say to wear it with a denim jacket. So the pants, a denim jacket, and then cute to funky top. Now my, or even with, oh, that's cute. Okay, y'all. That's cute. I would not have known to do that. That's actually really cute. Okay, so that makes sense. I can find a t-shirt like that. And then this, I'm not so sure how I, I'm still a little on the fence about that one. That's probably the only one that I'm kind of like, I don't know. This one I absolutely love. This one I absolutely love. And that one I like, okay. So let's look at the pricing. Here's the deal. If you keep, they, Stitch Fix is smart. What they do is they give you your styling credit towards any one item. So if I had ordered this box for the first time and I only loved this sweater, which I do, then I would be able to keep the fee on this. I would be able to put my $20 styling fee towards this. Um, the half shirts are awful. You love the cream sweaters. It looks like a, I, it's, it's, this, this sweater is phenomenal. It's amazing. So let's look at the clothing. Not terrible. I don't think it's terrible. Let's hold everything up so you can see. Um, remember, with Stitch Fix, 
This is one of those times where you're paying totally for them to style you. So I am paying for them to look and say, this is what looks great on you. If you keep everything in the box, you save 25%. Um, what I love is that now when I go to conferences and stuff, I pretty much don't have to do anything because I have everything here. So let's see. The, this sweater would be $38, which I think is crazy reasonable actually, because um, it feels really soft. It's a nice sweater. $38, if I keep the whole box, it's around 30-ish. What do you guys think? I don't think that's horrible. Considering they brought it to me and it fits me and looks cute on me, that's not a horrible price. So that one would be 38 full price, 30 if I keep everything in the box. Not terrible. The next one is this gray one. This would be 38. Um, 30 if I keep everything in the box. So, and there are, you know what, there's a Stitch Fix site. There's a Facebook group that you can go to and trade your stuff out of. I will probably, if I keep it, which I'm tempted to, I may see if I can't trade it out in that group. But I also think this is just kind of nice to throw on. Like I could see even throwing this on, like if you had black leggings and a black top and you're in like one of those yoga kind of days, I could see this being a yoga top kind of day. It's kind of, if I keep it, that's what I'd be keeping it for. So not horrible. Um, more than you would pay at TJ Maxx probably, but not awful. Um, I don't think the price is so bad, so far or bad. The skinny pants, these are not bad. These are J. Crew pants. They're 45. If I kept everything in the box, they would be, how much would that make them? 45 minus, a, what, like, so like 35-ish. Um, if I keep everything in the box, that's really not awful. And when you think about the fact that they, that's not awful. They're exactly the right length on me. And they're different. And the thing that the biggest reason I might keep them is that in the winter time, I love wearing a denim jacket. And so to be able to have something besides black that I could wear with my denim is kind of nice. So that's pretty tempting. Um, and then this sweater, this is the sweater that's the expensive one. This is my one expensive sweater. Y'all, I wish you could feel how good this feels because this is worth every penny. Um, remember, again, you are paying for them to sell you for sure. The This one is... 68 so if you kept everything it would be around 50 ish that's high for me for a sweater but i wish you could just i mean it it totally let me go look it looks cute it's just cute so that's a little bit more than i would spend normally but um it's not bad and then the last thing is the detail top this one, because I'm looking for some things, like I'm trying to step up my under my cardigan game, um, I kind of think this is going to be, because I wear cardigans all winter and I always look kind of like, I always just put a tank top, and I kind of think this underneath the cardigan, tucked in, is going to be really cute. In fact, do you know what's going to be really cute? I'm going to show you an outfit. I'm going to wear it really fast here. I'm going to show you why I'm going to keep that. So if I keep every single thing in the box, so all five items, let me see. I'm trying to figure out. If I keep everything, my price is $167. I had a credit of $25. So for I, so I'm probably keeping it all. So the price for everything would have been $167 plus my credit. So $150 for all five items. I don't think that's awful. I don't think it's awful. What do you guys think? Yay or nay? I'm going to show you how I'm going to style this one really fast. You guys agree? Um, you would have loved Stitch Fix, but even be able to afford it. Listen, and Lauren, I will tell you, we are all in different seasons. Let me explain really clearly to you that this is not something I would have done ever early. Like, this is something that the last two years I probably could afford. So before that, this would have been never, ever, ever done. In the last two years, our finances have come up. We've paid off a lot of debt. Um, and bigger than anything, I have to go to things where I like nice. I do Facebook Lives every day. I need clothes that look cute. Having Stitch Fix bring me things that look amazing right to my door is pretty amazing. Like, I think it's pretty fantastic. Um, definitely, as far, I will tell you, the washing, you do have to be careful with their stuff because I have had a couple things that I've washed and I've actually, but I will tell you, I had an issue with it and I sent it to them and they sent me a new one and replaced it. I had one top that I washed and I didn't, it was my fault for not reading it closely, but they sent me a new one without any issue at all. So I feel like it's pretty reasonable. The biggest thing you've got to think about is your time. And for me to not have to go out and to have all these cute clothes in my house is pretty amazing. I'm going to show you really fast how I'm going to style this cute thing. Now I'm kind of excited. I'm, hang on. Just if you have a second to watch, 
It's going to be cute, I promise. And then I will pop off and let you guys have your day. Hang on just a second. Oh, I'm excited about this one now. Now that I figured out what to do with it, once I saw the little thing, first, hang on. Okay. First, I'm going to take this top. And if you have a second, you love it, you would keep it all. I tell you one thing that's super important is if you are one of those people who would be tempted to keep it all, you know what? I'm not going to be able to show it to you, actually. Okay, so what I would do is I would wear these. I think I need these pants. I don't know that I could belt these. I don't know that. Not with that belt. Okay, these pants. How am I going to do this? With a denim jacket and a top underneath is going to be the way to go. Hang, well, yeah, these aren't the right pants, I don't think. Hang on. Hang on a second. You guys tell me if it's right or not. Are y'all still there? If anybody's still there, you're crazy. But thank you for hanging out with me. Okay, so my one thought was to do this. This is a Stitch Fix jacket that they gave me with these jeans. But after seeing their cute outfit, hang on, y'all. I'm excited and may actually change into this outfit today. Like, I would not have known how to do this. This is this t-shirt that I got last year, and I love it. I got it at J. Crew actually, on sale, and I just thought it was the cutest top. So hang on, hang on guys. Now that I've had my exercise running up and down the stairs, I am so stinking excited and I'm so keeping these pants just for this top, if nothing else. Hang on, I hope that, I cannot believe I'm doing this, but I am so excited because I've been looking for a way to wear this cute top. And now that I saw, okay, so look, this top, I love, but I don't ever know how to wear it, but it feels really fun and just like a little bit just different, and it was just a cute top, and so now look, with these great pants, because remember they showed how to do it with a t-shirt, you guys, I am excited, hang on, hang on, hang on, come on over here so you can see it, are you ready? Look how cute, and I can wear it with little cute shoes, y'all, remember that I spent most of my life not having certainly plenty of money for clothes like this or the right body so working at 40 almost i'm almost 43 and feeling like what do y'all think i think that is so darn cute oh it's so cute i am excited oh my gosh so cute so stitch fix you have me sold i'm keeping it all i'm excited what do you think you guys love that one like i don't I've been waiting, I've had this t-shirt, and every time I put it on, I'm like, I don't know how to wear it, and now I know how to wear it. I need my Converse, yes, I need some Converse, you're right, I can borrow my daughter's Converse. I have Toms, can I wear it with my Toms? Because I have those already, and I can't buy anything else. Sherry, do you like it? My friend Sherry's on this morning. Good morning, Sherry, I haven't seen you in forever. Okay, so there we go. I'm excited, yay, thank you, Stitch Fix. Thank y'all for being patient with me as I was the crazy girl. So if you want to try out Stitch Fix, the only three people who should consider Stitch Fix are number one, if you love, um, well, if you, if you have self-control and you can send it back. So I'll be honest, today, honestly, I didn't think I would keep these pants. I wouldn't have thought I would have kept much of this. But, so you have to be willing to turn it back if it's not perfect, which, I don't know, I kind of like everything. Now that I figured out what I'm going to wear with it, I kind of think it's all pretty awesome. So number one, if you have self-control. Number two, if you're a busy working mom who struggles to find the right clothing, guys, that's the way I am. I work all the time. I don't have time to shop. So to have them to style me is amazing. And y'all know, for those of you who watched me like five years ago, you know that I've been able to kind of figure my style out a little bit better. And so if you struggle with this, this is a great area. Isn't it so cute? Y'all, I am I'm so keeping this outfit on all day. And I feel so... And, I'm so excited. I love it. Okay, sorry. Number three, if you need a great pair of pants. Guys, I took these pants out of the box. Now remember, I am a person who has been a size 24 on the bottom. So I am a size, these are a size 8, which is pretty amazing. Um, but to have the gift of someone sending you a pair of pants that fit like that delivered to your door, 
I mean, y'all, can you, can I just, for any of you else who have, if you've seen a 25 four bottom, you know what that feels like. Isn't it cute? I, oh, Jill, you feel too old. Oh my gosh, don't feel too old for Citrix either. They will totally take into account the best things for you. I just, I love it. Cause I have been, I like keep, I keep seeing this top in my closet and I'm like, I want to wear that top because it's so cute and so different and it's New York. So if somebody wants to take me to New York City um, and just like take me on vacation, I'm going to look really cute with you. So if you'd like to bring me along with you to New York, I am coming. I will wear this outfit with my, probably my Toms, not my Converse because they're not as comfortable. Um, there you go. I'm excited. You're 35 Crystal with a two month old. You've been having to wear a lot of leggings. Oh, okay. Crystal, let me just tell you too. If you are 35 years old and you have a baby at home, you're in like survival mode. So I will say during the holidays coming, Stitch Fix would be a really fun thing to ask for as a gift. Like you can just say, hey, I need a gift of happy box in my mailbox. And this would be a great place to get a great fun thing that is maybe something you wouldn't want to buy for yourself normally. So Stitch Fix might be a great Christmas gift to ask for. I definitely love it. Um, I just think it's so fun. You said, you're, Tiffany, you're 46 and you're 24 steals your clothes. Yes, Tiffany, okay. That's the other thing about Stitch Fix. My daughter now goes into my closet every single morning and tries to find my stuff, which is so fun. Jane, you are not too old. You need to wear the cute clothes for sure. You can't believe you're ever size 24. You've been struggling with your weight. Linda, I know, it has been a long, probably my highest was a 24 when I was about 225 and we'll, we could talk all day long. I will pop a link in about my weight loss journey. Um, I currently have a weight loss program that I'm using that has gotten me to my leanest. So I was 225 in college, dropped down to about 150. Then I stayed between 150 and 180 for the next 15 years having babies and you know everything else. And I have just in the last two years gotten to my lowest weight of my life. And I'm so excited because I've kept it off my lowest. I've been at my lowest now for two years, which is pretty fantastic. And um, it hasn't been easy, but I'm doing the faster way to fat loss. I will put a link in um, to it, but basically it's a fasting and carb cycling plan and it's been great. If you do nothing else, um, definitely think about if you do nothing else with your weight, if you do nothing else, I would just encourage you to really think about what are you supposed to be putting in your body. If you know it's crummy food, it's gonna make you feel crummy. It's not, you're gonna gain weight. Like there's no way you're gonna get skinny eating chocolate bars all day. I wish I could fix that for you. I wish I, could, if you're eating Big Macs, you're not gonna be skinny. So I think just eating really, really well and thinking about what you can do to um, exercise every day. I do exercise every single day of my life. Like, well, five days a week I exercise hard. On the weekends I do less. So. It is called um, the Faster Way to Fat Loss. I will pop a link. If anybody from the team is on there, if you can pop a link in there. Um, I will also tell you some real honest Facebook stuff. So I want to tell you this for any of you who are watching right now and saying, oh my gosh, she looks amazing. Let's be honest and tell you that um, there are some really smart things I do to make myself probably look a little better. If you turn your camera down, it makes you look slimmer. So let me just show you the difference because I want you to see because I keep seeing people and thinking, oh my gosh, they're so tiny and gorgeous. This, when you put your camera down, makes you look skinnier. Um, this obviously makes you look a little bit older and not, like there are tricks that I use and every person on the internet uses to make them look just a little bit better. So do you see, not quite as cute as I was five minutes ago. So know that when you're watching somebody, they're probably doing a few things to make themselves look super cute too. Um, Chloe, it is expensive. I feel like it's expensive. Um, it's $197 to join. I think it's pricey, but I feel like it's so worth it. Um, so my, again, it's a great gift you could maybe ask for for yourself. Um, I would definitely, the biggest part of it though is that you don't eat. So you only eat between 12 and 8, an 8 hour window of eating. And you really, really, really eat fewer, fewer, ugh, fewer carbs. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And you guys are the sweetest, most encouraging bunch. I literally got on this morning and my wrinkles were showing and I looked so tired and I thought, oh my gosh, do I have anything to show? But then I got this cute outfit and now I'm feeling all fun. <laughs> so thank you Stitch Fix for making me feel amazing. Um, and I do, and thank you Starla. It is so true. We are amazing just the way God made us. And I have been struggling because I watch all these girls on Instagram and they are like size ones and I'm like, Lord, how come I don't look like that? And I'm just going to tell you, it doesn't matter. What I realize is that we can all fake it. Um, and they probably don't feel as awesome as they think they are either. So hang in there. You guys have an amazing day. Oh, oh, and since you guys are so sweet and hung out to the very end, which is ridiculous, tomorrow, 
If you are on our email list, make sure you're signed up for emails because tomorrow begins Croctober. We have the grocery list and menu plan all coming out. It's a free download. Um, if you have not signed up for emails, you need to be on it tonight. Tomorrow we won't be making my recipes, but Monday through Friday for 20 days, the entire month of October, we'll be making Crock-Pot recipes. So make sure to watch your inbox tonight. Hopefully you're already signed up. If you're signed up for Passionate Penny Pincher emails, we will send you all the Crocktober information. We're gonna be making so many yummy recipes and what we added this year, we'll be doing the volume one. So if you have volume one from last year, it's the same ones that we did last year. Last year we used volume two, this year we're using volume one. So that's, we've got um, 40 Crock-Pot recipes and I love y'all, I couldn't come up with another 20. But we added desserts this year because even though we want to be healthy and eat yummy and skinny and work hard to eat the best we can for our bodies, it's also good to enjoy a little bit of chocolate. So anyways, I'm so excited, Christina. Yeah, you guys let us know how many of y'all are going to be joining us. We will start that tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be talking about it and then Monday, Croctober will start. So you guys have an awesome day and I will talk to you tomorrow morning. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.